So next, I want to get to what's going on on college campuses. But first, folks, you need to tune in this Saturday for our Saturday live stream. My special guest is my friend, Dean Kane. We're going to talk about law enforcement. We're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. We're going to talk about politics, what's going on. Please tune in. It's this Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time. It's going to be great. All right. So now students are going back. They're going back to school. A lot of major colleges and universities are open. Look at what's going on at Iowa State. An Iowa State University instructor syllabus warns students that anti-Black Lives Matter and pro-life viewpoints are grounds for dismissal. Instructor Chloe Clark's English 250 syllabus includes a giant warning advising students that only certain views would be permitted during her classes. I take this seriously, she notes at the end of the warning. Can you believe this? What about free speech? What about colleges being open for the expression of different ideas? That's why kids get there. They go there for this new and open environment to share ideas and express different viewpoints. I guess not anymore. Here's more of the story. Any instances of othering that you participate in intentionally, racism, sexism, ableism, homophobia, sorophobia, transphobia, classism, mocking of mental health issues, body shaming, etc. in class are grounds for dismissal from the classroom, Clark wrote in the syllabus, a copy of which was provided to the Daily Caller News Foundation by Young Americans Foundation. The same goes for any papers slash projects, Clark's statement continued, you cannot choose any topic that takes at its base that one side doesn't deserve the same basic human rights as you do, i.e. no arguments against gay marriage, abortion, Black Lives Matter, etc. Can you believe that? This is what's going on at Iowa State University. Now, luckily, the university fired back and says that it doesn't agree with this, that they're going to make changes to the syllabus, and that they're going to sit down this instructor and give her some briefing on First Amendment rights as it applies to the university in case she needs a refresher course. But that's just Iowa State. Then a loyal and regular viewer of this show, he's working on his master's degree in epidemiology at the University of South Florida for one of their classes. Again, this is a master's level class. He's studying science. He's studying health. They're giving a reading assignment. You had to write a book report, read and discuss a book from a list of 10. Only these 10 books. I'm going to put this list on the screen. Check this out. So from this list, you can write about and read about white rage, white fragility, dying of whiteness. So you want to talk about race, under the affluence, and more. That is the books. Now this student wrote to the instructor, received a reply back saying, I have to pick from this list? Can I use a different list, write about a different subject? No, you can't do it. You won't receive any credit for this assignment. It has to be from that list. Look at that list, folks. This is outrageous. And this is what's going on, on at colleges and universities across the country. We're seeing this all the time. It is not education. It's indoctrination. You have to think a certain way. You have to act a certain way. You have to do certain things. If not, you're out. How is that diversity and inclusion? It's not diversity of thought. It's not diversity of opinion. And it's not inclusion if you kick these people out, if you're going to fail them because they have a different viewpoint than you. It is absolutely outrageous. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that quick hit. But before you go, there's more. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified. Then check out the full show that this quick hit came from. And when you're done with that, here's another video just for you. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.